Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Absolutely gorgeous here at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park up in North Naples, Florida. 76 degrees already, 76 degrees. Expecting our temperatures to be in the low 80s today. Actually, some parts of Southwest Florida might hit 86. Might hit 86 degrees, can you believe that? Pelicans out here, diving into the water. One of our friends was, saw a school of snook out here yesterday. That's a good sign. I haven't seen our snook swimming along the shoreline in a while. He said he saw a school of about eight of them, good size ones yesterday. So that's good news. And obviously there's something out there with the pelicans diving in the water here. Some fish rather close to shore. Just amazing, amazing how they dive in after the fish. The water is looking good. No red tide here. Low tide. We're right about at low tide now. Just a few minutes away from official low tide. So let's go up to the north end of the park here. See if there's anything interesting on the beach early this morning. Already looks like a crowd gathering up at the north end. I can't believe it. There was quite a line at the front gate this morning. Quite a line of cars at the front gate. They were just pouring in here in droves this morning. So I got a feeling you, if you don't get here early today, you're not going to be getting in. Something that's going in my pocket. Oh, no, it's not. Darn it. It's chipped up. Thought it was a nice little scallop shell. It's chipped up on the edge there. There's an absolutely glorious morning here. Glorious Saturday morning. Well, it's kind of foggy this morning, but right now there's some holes here. The sun's peeking through the holes in the clouds. I don't know. It's supposed to be partly cloudy on and off here. Sun and periodic moments of sun and clouds. <laughs> we'll see what happens this morning. We'll see. Good morning. Uh, the shellers are already out here in the water with their bags. Right out looking for sand dollars.
We haven't had those super low tides lately, so the, it's been a little harder to find the sand dollars. There's a little piece of a sandbar out here this morning that we, that's above water. It's been a few days since we've seen any dolphins. Maybe we'll get lucky this morning and see a couple swimming offshore, maybe playing, playing around, showing off for us. Here's the old steel manatee. Maybe we'll be able to see the old steel manatee here. It's just up a little further, just ahead of me. Take a peek in the water for that. Give you a look all the way around here. Gorgeous, looking to the east. Some clouds out there. The thicker clouds right now seem to be down to the south and southwest. Really gray, really dark, really, really dark down to the south. Down the south end of Vanderbilt Beach, the Park Shore area, really dark clouds down there, heavy. I think they're moving this way. I think they're moving to the south uh, to the northeast coming in from the southwest yeah the water's a little deep out by the old steel manatee there looks a little on the deep side Oh, Phil. Good morning, Phil. Loving it, loving it. <laughs> How can you not, right? <laughs> you got that? Boy, it's going to be a busy day here. Yeah, the old steel manatees. Pretty deep underwater there. If you look really close, you can see it. That dark spot out there in the water. He's underwater right now. You can just make it out right there. Nobody knows. <laughs> Do you know? Do you know what it is? Absolutely beautiful. That's what it is out here today. Absolutely beautiful. The water feels great. Looks great, feels great, smells great. Not sure what the temperature is. I'm gonna guess it's in the upper 60s. 68 maybe. Just a guesstimate.
Keeping my eyes peeled out there for dolphins. It's amazing how they can just pop up at any moment. Sometimes they seem to appear from out of nowhere, just boom, all of a sudden there's a dolphin. And then sometimes they just disappear. We're watching them and then that's it. They just disappear. Ooh, clouds are rolling in now. Now the clouds are rolling in. Hello. Good morning. Well, here we are, already up to the north end of the park, up to Wiggins Pass. And those clouds are rolling in, darn it. We're going, looks like we're going to get socked in here. Darn it. Started out to be a really beautiful morning. Still beautiful. It's beautiful just being able to be out here. It's just more beautiful when the sun's out shining bright. Hit that share button if you can Enjoy my live feeds here. Invite your friends to tag along with us. If you or a family member, a friend, if you need some prayers, don't hesitate in posting your prayer request in the comments here. Even if you need prayers for one of your pets, we all love our pets here. Our little fur babies, our feathered babies, our furry babies, our scaly babies, <laughs> whatever you might have as a pet. What on earth? Pretty quiet up here. Some nice fighting conchs up here. Some nice fighting conch shells. But that's about it. Little scallops, some little scallops floating around in the water here. Two little scallops down here. That one's kind of nice, the bigger one. Wiggins Pass in North Naples, Florida. Barefoot Beach over on the other side of the pass there. Really no shortage of little scallop shells up here. They're all buried in the sand.
plenty of fighting cocks. Plenty of them out here. Plenty of these guys, the little Florida fighting conks. babies down in here. Nah, I see a little turkey wing bobbing around there. A little turkey wing shell. What else? A little olive. Missing the tip over here. Missing its... Well, no, it does have its tip. Just kind of rounded off a little olive shell. Its pattern's kind of faded out. A little olive. Yeah, yesterday. What a bummer yesterday. I went back to chat with Barb and she'd already packed up. I don't blame her. It was getting hot yesterday. Getting really warm out here. I think she wanted to get off the beach. But Monday... Monday, Barbara Grove said she's going to bring her big boys and girls, referring to her shells. She's going to bring the big boys and girls to share with us. So I want to make sure I get my visit in, my Monday morning visit with Barbara. That'll be fun. She, her shell collection is huge, huge, her personal collection. She just brings little bits of it out to the beach with her here on Monday and Friday mornings. fishermen up here this morning. A lot of fishermen. Men and women. Good morning, how are you today? I'm great, how are you? Awesome. Well, I see one little turn hanging out on the beach here. One little turn. Those clouds are just rolling right over top of us now. Darn it. Losing our beautiful blue sky and sunlight.
a little snowy egret. I saw its little head sticking up over the ridge here. patiently waiting for its victim. Beautiful little birds. Beautiful, the little snowy egret. Not a lot of little bait fish along here. The point at the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park, up at Wiggins Pass. The sun tries to come out, but too many clouds there. Peaks out for a couple seconds, then disappears. Pretty thick cloud cover. It's right up behind that cloud there, right in the center of the screen there. No ospreys out here this morning. Sometimes there's an osprey hanging out on that dead tree right there. Right over in there. Nothing this morning. Fisherman casting there, throwing his net out for bait, but I don't think there's much of anything in the water here as far as bait fish go. There's a little sun. It looks like you brought in an empty net. The 
tide is just turning now. Just getting ready to come back in. Boy, we're really quiet up here this morning. Like I said earlier, when I started, there was a line of cars waiting to get in the park this morning and they just kept coming once they opened the gates. Looks like it was gonna be a busy day here for the Rangers. Wiggins Pass. There is rain out in the Gulf. There is some rain moving on shore. Just little pockets of rain. I don't think we're going to see any here. I think we're going to be okay. There goes a pontoon boat probably full of looks kind of like it could be a little tour boat looks like it could be a tour boat heading out there Lucky them, huh? We all need to be going out on a boat. Picked up a little cockle shell this morning as I was walking along the beach. While I was looking for other shells, I really haven't had much luck shelling in the past couple weeks. Just kind of hit and miss. But I did find a nice little cockle shell with a hole in it that I'd like to hang on a little prayer tree up here at the pass. Find a nice little branch to hang it on for all of our friends that can't make it to the beach to hang their own shell. So, let's see here. Where's a good one? Here's a good one right here. Nope, not a good one. I broke it right off. <laughs> this looks like a good one right here. If I can finagle it through there. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. So there you go. Anybody that needs some prayers, this shell is for you. Anybody needing prayers, if you want to say a prayer for a friend or something, go for it. I'll give you a minute here. Jackie, always thinking of you, sweetheart. Prayers for you, my dear. 
I know you've gone through some tough times and you still are. God bless you. Daryl, prayers for you, my friend. Hoping you can get your life back on track here. Lisa, prayers for your fur baby and you. Lord, has prayers for you, my dear. So many of our friends needing prayers. We all need prayers, let's face it. Prayers for our country, too. God bless America. Peggy, prayers for your brother. Hey. All right. Amen, amen, amen. shall I do here? Go down a little further. Walk down the edge of the pass just a little further up river here before turning around. By our marker number eight, old channel marker number eight. Good morning. How are you, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Awesome. It is quiet. Aren't these roots awesome from the mangrove trees? You can see how important they are, how they hold the sand, hold the beach together. This is a, the red mangroves. We have red and black. You can see the red color there and the roots. not allowed to mess with the mangroves here in Florida. You cannot cut those down if you own a piece of waterfront property. You will wind up getting a heavy fine. It's very still. Very, very still right now here. The trees blocking any breeze that might, there might be. Very warm. Couldn't believe it. it was 76 when I looked at the thermometer on my car. 76 when I got out this morning. Crazy warm. Crazy warm. Looking out the mouth of Wiggins Pass into the Gulf on an overcast Saturday morning. It's all right. It's still a beautiful view. Still beats looking out at piles of snow, <laughs> in my opinion. Some people like the piles of snow. Not this Florida boy.
Hey, after my live feeds here this morning, take some time and go through my posts, look at some of my shorter videos. I posted a little video, just a little video of one of the turns up here yesterday. What's important about that is the text, the description in that video. It's not just a video of a cute little turn. It's actually a video of a starving turn. I'd really appreciate it if, if you'd share that. There's a little donate button on there for the Conservancy. They are really in need of funding. They are taking an unusually large amount of birds now into their wildlife hospital. And they are really in need of money. If you could share that post, that would be awesome. And of course, any other posts you see, it would be awesome if you share them, if you like them. But I really feel sorry for these little turns. I think the problem's going to be ending soon. I don't know when they stop their migration, but those that are going to make it, I think, have. Good morning have survived. I think there's still a few struggling. I see one up by the fishermen this morning. But it's sad. I see them. They'll muster up all their strength to fly out over the water to catch a fish and then they just poop out and they plop down in the water and they can't get out of the water. They just kind of float out there and some of them get washed up onto the beach, just tumbled up on the beach. Others perish. Some of them are too weak to even leave the beach. They're just walking the beach, just with a blank stare. They're just kind of you can almost feel them begging, looking at you begging for something to eat. Kind of sad. Sad, sad, sad. Mother Nature. That's where we were. I don't know if you can see the marker right there. That's where we were earlier. Marker number eight, channel marker eight. Boy, big pieces of the beach dropping off into the pass. I can hear the chunks just breaking off. There's a big drop off, just a ledge like a cliff all the way around the north east corner of the pass here of the beach at the pass and it's just chunks of, of the beach are just falling off into the pass
I know they're getting bites out here. I don't know if they're catching anything. Yesterday, I know they were catching pompano and mackerel, not large quantities, but at least it was something. It is just muggy out here this morning. really hard to tell what the water actually looks like with the sun being behind the clouds but it doesn't look bad it doesn't look bad out here I am I'm Dan from Minnesota Dan I've been watching your show for about two months Dan welcome say hi to everybody hi everybody our Dan friend from Minnesota. Dan from Minnesota folks <laughs> I got another friend down here from Minnesota he wants to come out and walk the beach with me Barry He's, uh, there's a lot of Minnesotans here. We have our friend Elsie that, I don't know if you've seen her in the morning, she walks with. I saw Roy, I haven't seen Elsie. Yep, she's a fellow Minnesotan, so if you see her, I'll tell her Dan's looking for her. All right. <laughs> I think she's already come and gone. She's an early bird. Okay. How are you doing on the shelling? I'm just, I don't know anything about shelling. Boy, you got, you got some nice ones. Yeah. I think that's one of your moon yeah. shells. Yeah, lucky you, 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 you got a moon shell, man. Yeah. Lucky you. Awesome. A moon and you're doing good. You talked about the worm. <laughs> the worm. Yep. You got the worm shell. You got a conch. I see you have a, an olive shell over there. Awesome, Dan. <laughs> nice to meet you, Robert. Yeah. Thank you for watching. I'll keep watching. Thank Thanks. Oh, that is so neat. When we meet our friends in person here, Dan from Minnesota. We'll keep an eye out for Dan now. Uh oh, what do I see down here? A little crown conch, but it's missing its crown. Gorgeous colors on it, absolutely beautiful colors. A beautiful little crown conch, but it's missing all its little points on its crown. <laughs> That's a beauty though. Man, look at the colors on that. That's one of my favorites, the crown conch. That was kind of neat. Dan had a lot of, had picked up a lot of the shells that I always talk about. He had a moon shell, he had an olive shell, a fighting conch, a worm shell. I think he had a slipper shell in there. fun to know that people are listening listening and maybe even learning hopefully we're all learning hopefully we never stop learning you're never too old to learn something new well, there's a lot of olives out here like this with the little holes in the end a lot of olive shells out here like that but I go for the nicer ones with the tips I'm going to keep them. What is that? What kind of shell is that? Jan, who's one of our resident shell experts, what is that little shell there? What is that? It's kind of old and worn. What is that? I'm going to keep it. it. Just looks like something different for my collection.
I first saw it, I thought it was an olive shell, but not even close. Waves coming up here and sifting, doing the sifting for me, pushing everything around. I like that. Look at this little, little teeny tiny conch down here. Look at that little conch shell. A murex just got uncovered, a little apple murex. Nice. Nice, nice. Huh. Anything else down here? Lots of worm shells. Is that a little moon or a nautica? Nautilus, nautica, no, it's a moon shell with a chip in it, little chipped moon shell. Well, I'm gonna end this live feed and I will be right back here with part two of this morning's beach walk at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. So stay tuned, an old cone shell. Make sure you're set up to get notifications when I go live and tell your friends about Southwest Florida television. And remember our motto, bringing people together one beach walk at a time. That's what it's all about, making new friends here in the morning. If you like what you see, consider becoming a financial supporter, a regular monthly supporter. If you'd like to send a tip or donation, whatever you want to call it, you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post, and I really, really do appreciate that. You guys are wonderful. So thanks for being a friend. If I don't see you later, have a wonderful, safe, healthy Saturday. Telly ho, telly ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.